my opinion. <laughs> Excuse okay, I'll me. Tell you, so I'll tell you what we're going to do since we're like starting a whole new season here. Well, we're not sure about that yet. Well, uh, pretend. Um, when Eric is in that seat, there'll be, in my opinion, sign. <laughs> when I'm in that seat, there'll be a flag up there and it will be talk talk time. And Felicia, I don't know what's wrong with her. Anyway, God. so Dennis and I have been talking because we wanted to do a couple of shows before the election. Last week, I was at the Hamilton Market getting a grinder, and I'm going to give a, a, um, a boost to Hamilton Market. If you want probably the best grinder you can ever Where's find, that? go to Hamilton Market on Broad Street next to uh, the Pizzarama or that, that, um, oh. that uh, winery place, whatever. Anyway, and I'm telling you, the grinders are like so much meat on it, it's amazing. Anyway, and they're very affordable. A gentleman, when I went in there to, to um, order, he's staring at me. I ordered, turned around, he's still staring at me. And I, told, I said, hello? And he said, are you Eric? I said, yeah. He goes, I used to watch your show all the time. Why aren't you and Dennis still on the show or doing the show? I said, we never got any kind of validation that point. people were even listening. And he, I, we get people all the time coming up to us saying they really enjoyed the show, which is very nice. I'm not if looking for good, makes the kind of praise. Or, I'm not, we don't get that. I'm not, my head is not like this, like Donald Trump. Anyway. Hey, don't anyway. start. <laughs> anyway. We are going to do these two shows, and maybe we'll go on farther after that. It depends. And for me, it's going to depend because my wife is finally retired. She enjoys having a lot of extra time home. Um, we were, she's playing a lot more pickleball. We were at a friend's house playing cards this afternoon. Um, I don't have a lot of uh, patients to do treatment on, so she wants me to retire. It's not going to happen. I still want to uh, treat, but I don't work with the agency I used to anymore. Um, so we will do shows, but we are going to please ask you, validate us. Just call in and say you want us to continue or you want us to get off the air or whatever. You don't have to stay and talk. I know John Manny has always called in. He's been great. He's sent us uh, messages all the time. So, and Dennis and I really do enjoy doing these shows. But we also have said we're, we're, we're preaching to the choir. So, please, if you can, here we're getting a phone call already, and I probably. Who do you think it is? I'm going to say either John or Karen. Okay. Um, you don't push that. It's a, which one? Middle one. Is it the middle? It's been such a long time. Good evening. You're on the air. What about me? I used to call all the time and harass you, too. What am I? Not on, even on the list anymore? Oh, you're on a special list. <laughs> is this Cheryl? I can yeah, hardly hear you, Cheryl. I got to... I have a, I have a, um, one of my hearing aids is gone, so I Yeah, have to... you just don't want to listen to me. Dennis, look yeah. at me. Let me see what you have on your hat. <laughs> look at the camera. Would yeah. You... Dennis. I'm looking at the camera. No, turn your head to the right. What's your hat say? It says, Trump 2024. He will oh, be okay. back. All right, all right. Now, yeah, let me well, guess. You, yours, let Eric? me guess. Where's you don't like tonight? Trump either, right? Where's your hat tonight, Eric? I don't have my hat. I, I, I was rushing the, this uh, evening. I don't have. I have a hat, right. a Trump twenty four hat. But I happen to like Dennis's better. Okay. Um, now, however, I haven't been watching you guys because Dennis has been taping it, and I can't call and harass anybody. So no, those on. I I haven't. On or what? I haven't been taping anything. Those are just past shows. Oh uh, well, I don't watch old 
stuff. That's like going to bed with an old boyfriend. Come on. Well, I haven't done that, but... Well, I hope you have it. Anyway, I mean, well, I hope you guys... You shouldn't be doing that either. Because... All right, well, I'm going to keep watching as long as I can, and I probably will call... Well, hold it, hold it, hold it. Before you go, <laughs> before you go, since I can't get you, or we can't get you to come on our show, we're just going to have to keep you on the phone for a little bit. Do you know that they started work on the museum downtown? I heard about that. And, Did they? And they were supposed to do shovel you, in. Do you know that they took over the whole backside of the train station, including no, the pier that goes out that. into the water, that that I will no that. longer be part of the waterfront? So what's going to happen with if downtown wants to have something back there i mean they don't have much but what's well gonna you're gonna happen? have you're gonna have the museum taking up a huge part of it you got the the restaurant that's taken up a part of it where the rides used to be i went by there the other day and i'm sure once it's done that will be open again but right now that's used being used for storage so i think is a pretty good chance of sale fest going away I hope it does. Or some other arrangement well, sale made. Well, sale fest will probably be still, but instead of being on the pier, you may see it go on the Railway Avenue Street. You know, the um, street before the no, tracks. I can't, I can't. They, could, they could do that. If they, they could do you whatever they want. Or they could go farther up like they used to go. It used to go all the way up to the Guard Theater. Yeah, but you know what? Let's just li listen to me, guys. We don't need a three-day circus in New London. No. All these other towns that have something very similar, they do it for a full day. Or why can't we do it Friday night, have the music at the restaurants or wherever or on the pier, and then have it all day Saturday? You know, really. Cheryl, it, it, I, I definitely agree with you. I think... And if anybody, I haven't gone to Sail Fest in I don't know how many years because I think it's actually, I think it's garbage. It is garbage. But if you go the week after on a Saturday to Niantic for that Main mm -hmm. Street thing, it is done so much better than Sail Fest could ever be. Well, they have these one day, one day shows three, four times a year on Main Street in Niantic, and, and they're very, very need, good. guys. I mean, because think about it. We need our local people who make things, cook things, whatever. We need local people, or maybe even people from out of town that's going to sell something that, that, that's not outpriced for, for us. This was supposed to be for local people. We've got people coming from all over that... How many times do they come back to New London? And I've said this to the mayor many a time. No, you're right. It's a one-shot deal. They come down. They buy food off the truck. They don't buy anything from the stores. Right. I will say the bars, the bars and restaurants probably do very well, which I'm glad because they're all independently owned. But so Cheryl, I'm what stores? Them. Cheryl, what stores? There's no. We there's literally. Two well, or three stores, stores on, on, on Bank down. Street. I know. Well, there's a nice old, ice cream um, shop. Uh, what's that what's closed. the name of that place oh. that sells? Uh, You're oh, talking about uh, berries? Yeah. Closed. Oh. The one that sells the clothes and the little gift. Uh, she may, oh, Jesus. I can't think. My brain isn't functioning today. Dennis, I th it's, it's on the same side as um, the water side. I, you know, the stores change so often down there, it's, it's well, hard to keep track. Well, this one's been around for a long time, but it's changed. You know what, Cheryl, that I whole place will be, will be filled once the uh, museum goes, g gets up there. You watch. It's going to be filled with what? I'm not sure. Dan, uh, Eric, think about it. Think of some of the people who own those buildings down there. They're looking for the most rent that they can get. Local people can't come in and open up a restaurant or a shop or anything else because they want the most that they can get for rent. You know that. I know. So who's going to... I no don't... No one's going to end up having stores um, or restaurants Unfortunately, Cheryl, I can't forever. answer that question. You know, I remember talking with, um, with Cornish about turning upstairs his store that he had on Bank Street. 
-hmm. turning, putting apartments upstairs, and he mm -hmm. said he wouldn't do it. I believe that's what he said. Only because when you put apartments upstairs in these places, you have to put in a sprinkler system. And oh. it's, that's, it's, it's coded. It, it's supposed to be. And that, the price for that is just off the charts. Right. Now, they went in, these people, they come in, they buy these stores up, and they, some of them put apartments upstairs for outrageous prices. I mean, that, that's not helping any um, low-income people. And they don't want low-income people. So, well, you know, I would like to see if this sprinkler system because they can't pay the rent. Because we have too many of them already, Dennis. Oh, Thank you wouldn't you, believe. Eric. Thank and then the, the new Thank ones you. going up across the street on Bayonet Street from uh, that's Shoprite. Right. That's all going to be low income. You so they what? say. Want, so they say. I mean, I feel bad for anybody who can't afford uh, two thousand dollars a month rent, eighteen hundred dollars a month rent. But you know what? We cannot be a town that caters to certain people. And unfortunately, that's what we're doing. The nonprofits are buying up houses that they don't have to pay taxes on. We're letting all, all people in this city that can't afford to live here. So we're feeding them. We're clothing them. We're putting them up in shelters. I'd love to know how many people that we have that are homeless, that are living in the shelter, that are eating at the soup kitchen, that have been residents of New London for years. I, I, I agree with my that. Kids, not many people. They are shipping them in. They are telling them to go to New London. Are they telling them to go to Waterford and get an apartment? Or East Lyme? Or even Groton? No. Because those towns will not support people who need help. It's only New London that does it because they started years ago when they got money for redevelopment to put um, low-income houses in, and it started with um, the apartments on Shore Street when they first did that, and then Crystal, a or I don't know if Crystal Avenue was first or No, Shore the Street Shore was. Street area was first. Yeah, well, look what happened to them. They disappeared, didn't they? Yeah, they tore it all down for what? Because it was sinking. Oh, okay. Well, that'd be yeah, a good reason. But the thing is, we cannot worry about everybody else. We need to take care of the people that have been here for years, that have been paying, paying taxes. Their families have been living here. You know how many people are moving out of New London? A lot. You know, a lot. And, and when you get these young engineers and hospital people that renting, you think they're shopping downtown? You think there's no place to shop in New London? No. Where it, Cheryl, I have always said, where are these people going to do their food shopping? Mm -hmm. Because the old hard, uh, lumber yard is going to be apartments now. Yep. I thought it was owned, still owned by the guy who owned it. He wanted a million or plus. It was sold for like $1. You know where they're going to yeah. do their shopping? And they're going to put apartments there. Where are these people going to shop? You there's know no, where they're going to do no... their grocery shopping? Just like they do their clothing and their anything else they need, they're going to get on their computer yep. and they're going to tap in what food they want, what socks they want, what shoes they want. That's how they're going to do it. Generation now, even people in our generation, believe it or not, from our generation down, are not paying attention to the stores. That's why they're closing. That, that is that, true. I mean, true. it's a, the that's computer true. even hit the malls. I mean, that's right. That's and right. why would new people really come to this city when you've got a failing school system? Um, well, most of the people moving in now to a lot of these, like the one on the old Partial J, I don't think these are people that have kids. No, they're not families moving in. Well, that, But if it comes time for them to buy a house or, or have kids... You can bet most of them will probably leave. They'll either leave or they'll send their kid to a private school. Right. right. Well, uh, Groton's got on um, Clarence B. Sharp Highway that turns into whatever that street is. That school that, that was there, they rebuilt that school. That's a magnet school. Mm -hmm. You've got New London that cannot fill their schools. Jennings no, is no longer a magnet school. Doesn't that take away... The money that was supposed to be an all-school district, you've got 
um, the schools that were supposed to take 25% of out-of-district students, yes. and they're not filled. Doesn't that take away from... Well, we're supposedly losing money every time we can't fill them spots. Yeah, the well, state you refuses know what? to you pay. You've got to remember, and, and we, we remember, but it doesn't compute in our heads, I guess. New London has been doing crap like this for years, and yeah. they haven't learned. They don't listen. I, I don't even bother going to city council meeting. When I was at the senior center today, one of the guys that worked for the city said, how come you don't go to city council meetings anymore? I said, Why? Because they look at you, they don't even look at you when you're talking, so they're not listening, and they don't even care what you say. So guess what? I have not gone since before they closed, and I refuse to go because when it's the same ones over and over, they sure as hell didn't pay attention to me. Did they pay attention to you, Dennis or Karen, or you, Eric? No, it's even worse now. Yeah. So why go? Because. If I, they do things behind closed doors. They don't want... Uh, okay, i got to go on. Let me go on one more thing. You're right. Now you got me on a tangent. Cheryl, <laughs> if I had to do this all over again, there is no way I would live in New London. I know, I know. So. All right, know. we got to go. Well, she's got one more thing she wanted to rant Why? about. I don't know. Do you know what's going on with the Martin Center? Yep. What's going on? What do you have to Isn't know Isn't that supposed to be converted into... Oh, you're in for a surprise. Is he not in for a surprise? He sure oh, is. Here we Why go. don't you tell him, Dennis? I'll okay. hang up and give you the Why isn't it in the, in the, in the leftist newspaper Bye. we have? All right, so me and Karen are probably the only ones that go to council meetings anymore. All right, take it easy, Sean. We're more than me. Um, so she came. We, we were both at a council meeting, and she uh, got up and spoke and said that she had heard that the Martin Center was sold right not to the guy that has it now now we sold the martin center to this one guy who's supposed to have places downtown too i guess i, I don't know who he is but um they sold it to him for a dollar right and he turned around and sold it no wait a minute um and we are also paying him fifty thousand dollars a right. year right so we're at a council meeting and karen brought the fact up that she heard from somebody in hartford that the Martin Center was sold for seven point two or seven point six million dollars. So she goes, I would like to know what's gonna happen to the seniors. Is it the same deal and yada yada yada? So the counselors said, Well, we don't know anything about this. Well, thank you for bringing it to our attention. So then it was time for the mayor to speak. So he gets up there and he gets this really nasty looking look on his face and he says there is not one iota of truth that the Martin Center has been sold. And before you do rumors like that, you should come and see me. So if you have any more questions about something like this, you come and see me. And we were like, oh, okay, so he's pissed off now. Good. Better be pissed off than pissed off. Two days on. later. Two weeks later. No, two days later. Two days later, it was sold. What the guy did was, he, this is the story now, he brought in a partner that paid him $7.6 million to be a partner, but he didn't only get the Martin Center. He got the church, I guess, next door. He got from the Martin Center on Broad Street all the way over to William Street. So now they're wondering, are we still paying this guy $50,000? What's going to happen to the seniors? Two days, it, it may have been a week, after he ranted on Karen for bringing it up, he downright lied. He knew. He had to know. Yeah, no, so, he, so who gets, so do we get another, do we get any of that $7.6 million? Why did, this is why the right people in this city can't stand the politics in this town can't stand the way this town city does business because they, you know, there was a, I got a message from somebody and it was, it said, Washington is either incompetent or idiots. The Republicans are incompetent, but the Democrats are incompetent idiots. That is exactly what New London is. They are incompetent idiots. Are they, they treat us like 
crap. I agree with you on that as far as New London goes, but as far as the nation goes... Nation, yes. I, think, I don't think they're idiots. I think they're pretty clever. I think they're raping this country to the max. Absolutely. I mean, there's money going out left and right, trillions of dollars. Absolutely. And it's not helping any of us. It's, it's helping the illegals more than it's helping us. Right. And I don't blame the illegals because... I, well, first of all, what I blame about the illegals is they had no right to be here. I don't care if you're a yeah, kid. Yeah, but, but if you got... Dennis, I don't care if you're a kid. I don't care who you are. Okay, but wait a minute. Stay in your own damn country and ruin your own damn country more. Don't come here and ruin ours. But they're being by, an ass to I come don't, here. No. We have... Mayorkas has lied through his oh, yeah. teeth saying the borders are closed. The man is an incompetent idiot. He should be Is he the one in charge of the... Yes, he's in okay, charge did of you the border. Hear that? Now they want, it, they want him to resign. No, it, not just resign. They want to impeach, impeach him. Because he's, he claimed that they were being whipped. He claimed that the, the border Oh, that people, horse thing. Yeah. You know how old well, now that they thing found, is? Wait, I know, but they found out that he knew it wasn't true. It was true, a lie. And he still went on the air and said it was happening. And Biden followed it And through. Biden says they're going to pay the price. The border guards. What does that tell? Well, first of all, Biden is an incompetent idiot. Not only that, he's a traitor to this country. He knew exactly what was going on with his son Hunter. He knew exactly that Russia and China and Ukraine were paying the Biden family millions of dollars in, you know, in exchange for favors to these countries. That's being a traitor. Ukraine is supposedly the most corrupt country in Europe between money laundering and the whole nine yards. It, it, the, the, the country is pretty basically owned by Soros. I saw that in a documentary. Um, but you know what I feel bad about is the people that live in there, the, the, the regular people. You know, you, you, can't, you can't dislike everybody in the Ukraine, but you can definitely dislike the, the right. people that are running the country Absolutely. because they're, they're screwing their own people. Well, it's, it's, it's the same thing like what's going on with Iran, what they did to this woman and because she wasn't wearing a, head, a hajib. No. Now you've got hundreds of thousands of women finally protesting against the, the Ayatollah Shmuk Khomeini, who should be dead. Finally, the people of Iran or the women are uprising, and they're, they're going to kill a lot of them. This is the way Iran was run as an independent, well, as, as more of a de democratic country until you had Jimmy Carter. In 1979, when he, he gave back the country well, to, the, to the Shah of, of Iran, getting the Shah of Iran out. Yeah. We're not stupid. We're just angry, and, and we're tired of this. Did you see on, on, the, on the news yesterday where Tulsi Gabbard has had enough with the Democratic Party? She left the Democratic Party. Yeah, I Party. saw that. I saw that. Good for her. She can't, she can't stand what the Democrats are doing to this country anymore. When are the people in this country going to wake up? I don't know. You saw what we went through when we first came in here. Um, people not liking Trump uh, because of what he does he's this that and the other thing and stuff but yet they forget what all these democrats that are in power have done right they're corrupt and they don't want anybody they dennis they're, they're preachers of hate what's that the editorial today in the day gannett enters fake news business now you know the gannett Who? newspaper gannett they're oh. a, a newspaper company they own a whole bunch of companies this is what was appeared in the St. Louis po Post. It's bad enough that the GOP propaganda machine has so successfully implanted in the mind of millions of Americans that traditional news outlets are somehow disseminating fake news. The label of fake usually accompanies real news that tends to put certain Republicans in an unfavorable light when they do things like subvert democracy or claim an election was stolen when it wasn't. Well, what bothers me about this, and especially why I still have to, I can't stand the, new, the day. It is one corrupt newspaper. It's unbelievable. But 
why isn't why war hasn't one thing been printed by the day about the Bidens and Hunter Biden, about them being corrupt, about Hillary Clinton with the disinformation oh, know, this with is what I'm with saying. it's nothing's being said, but they'll go after Trump. Now look, yes, I'm for Trump. I'm registered independent. And I know Trump is just as much of a liar as everybody else. I know that. However, the impeachment by Trump for the first one, because of Russian disinformation, should be overturned. Because that was, that was paid all, for by Clinton. Right. The Steele dossier, FBI offered the Steele people a million dollars to come forward and verify what they said, and they couldn't do it. The first impeachment needs to be overturned. He shouldn't have been impeached for that. Well, he wasn't totally impeached anyway. I'm not sure about the second one regarding the Janu January 6th. They're, I can, go, still I can, go, on I can go on about Jan because there's a whole big thing about January 6th today, too, because they don't want him to run again. However, let's do 180 degrees and go on the Democrat side. You're going to go after the Republicans and, and Trump because of what happened January 6th. Why aren't you going after the Democrats and all the people because of Seattle, the taking over Seattle and all these, uh, Portland, Oregon, um, the, the Minneapolis, and um, all AOC and, and the garbage that they have uh, in the Senate for, or Congress for Minnesota, that, what's her name? Um, the Habib, what's her name? Um, uh, I know who you mean. Omar. She's, she's pure garbage. I don't think she's going to win again. I don't think I don't know. Them I hope none again. of them win again. But regardless, this newspaper prints 90, a good 95% of editorials and letters to the editor that benefit the left. This is not a fair newspaper. And it's, it, 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 I don't think it ever will be again unless somebody buys this newspaper, throws every single one of them out, and gets equal, equal time for everybody. I, I think as far as the newspaper goes, I think the owners of the paper and the, edit the editor people, you know, the people high up on the board, decide what gets put in the paper and what doesn't. I think a, quite a few of the reporters would love to see them people go because I think they would, they would report differently. But they can't report a story that's fair if the board is going to pull it and not put it in the paper. So they make everybody look bad. Now, the only one that gets away with it sometimes is um, Dave Collins. Right. But he's a hit and miss. You don't know one morning. He's more of a... Yeah, yeah I, I, he's more of a, a... A miss than a hit. Yeah. I mean... Um, Anyway, that, I mean, this is, this is why I wanted to do the show again with you. Did you go to any of the, the debates? I, no, I went yesterday to find, look for Labriola. I couldn't find him. I ended up in, in, at the Guard, and the, the Guard didn't even, they have 1,492 seats. It wasn't even a quarter filled, they said. Is that was for Courtney and all? That was for, yeah, Courtney and the other two pe uh, people who were running. And there were, there were more people for Courtney outside than anybody else. And, I mean, it was in the paper today, too. Yeah, how, I drove how, by that there. That picture. I drove you know, by there. It just goes to show you the ignorance, and, I'm gonna, and it is ignorance, uh, of the people in this whole region, why this state is so damn blue. You know... You're going to vote more Democrats in again, or that's what they're going to, they want to do. Look at this country. Day one cuts off the, the pipelines. Inflation is, is surging. You have the borders uncontrolled. You have China threatening to go against Taiwan, Russia with Ukraine. They hate Trump because he wasn't 
a traditional politician. No, he wasn't even close to a politician. And he did more for this country than any other anybody since Reagan. But why can't these people see that? I mean, how? Because you, they you're don't going, like the name Trump. Yeah, but how, at what point does it become okay? I may not like the man, but at least then I wasn't paying five bucks for a loaf of bread. When does that sink into these people? Most of these people, if they had some, if they were going to buy a car from somebody and it was a great deal, and they hated the person that had the car, they would still buy the freaking car. They don't care about the person. So how can these people, how can families, how can Democrats and some Republicans, um, how can they go through all the, what we're going through these past two years and not see what the man, or whether you like him or not, his job when he's president is only about this much for you to like him, and it's about this much for him do, to do for good what, for the country. Right. Okay, so how can you dislike a man that had gas under $2, that had, uh, we became our own energy, we were selling energy our energy to all over. Yeah. Right now, if we still had it, Europe would not have to buy stuff from... Uh, no, right now, if he was still president, Russia would not have invaded Ukraine. No, none of them would be doing what Our they're doing. Our borders would be secure. Because they would they be oil independent. They know that if they push Trump, they don't know what he's going to do. And they're scared of him. Mm -hmm. Biden, they think, is a frigging clown. That's why they don't, the, the Democrats he's don't want be, them in there. He's going to be 80 years old. Right. Now, the difference is if you look at Trump heading towards 80, he still looks like a vibrant, got it together guy. You look at Biden from the time he took office, even before that, when he was running and hiding in his basement, like the the other yo-yo that's running now in Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah, that is. Um, they, because the Democrats don't, they know what's going on. They, they just don't want to. Right. Okay, they I'm going to bring care. something else up. They don't care. They want. They don't want Republicans back in office. And they also want socialism. And they, and they don't want Trump to ever be able to run for anything right. again. Bullshit. It's going to happen. He's going to run. I, I don't know what this... this D Don't. All these... See, this is what gets me. Biden signs... Okay, he signs a thing. I'm going to give this much money to all the people in college, you know, to help them out. Now you see a thing in there where a federal judge says, you, you can't do that. Congress holds the purse, not you. So now they might take it back. So all this crap you people out there are hearing from Biden and his people of all these wonderful things they're going to do, they sold you on that the last time, and you got nothing. Now they're doing it again for midterms, saying we're going to do this, we're going to do that. You're going to get nothing. First of all, there's too many people who That's spent all. all this money, who paid for their own college, you know, these idiots going to con I know, these no. idiots going to con Hang college on, getting a liberal arts degree and they're not going to get a job. There's no place for them to get a no, job. That's right. <laughs> Good evening, you're on. Hey, guys. Hey, John, how are we doing? Uh, back to local news, you were talking about the Martin Center. Yeah. Uh, you, you know it made the real estate transactions on October 7th in the day paper, even though it was only a rumor that he told Karen that it officially made transactions where they do real estate. Yeah. How come that was even legal? The guy owns the building. He can do whatever he wants. Well, I bought it for a dollar. I turn around and get a partner for $7.6 million. You do the ROI. What does that tell you about Passero? No wonder uh, Passero is a lousy neighbor. And he, he, is, he, he doesn't do anything for on our street. Well, have you been on Ocean Avenue? Have yes. Have you seen what Learn's done to their complex? Yes. Where they have the, the, the off-street parking or turnoff for students and buses? Yeah. Why couldn't we do that for Nathan Hale? We're so concerned about safety at the high school that we've got to build a $4 million roundabout. But meanwhile, nothing's being done about the traffic situation or the hazard with people parking in the no parking zone on on Ocean Avenue to pick their kids up at Nathan Hale. I got to mention 
Well, John. If Waterford was working on Willits with utility, they'd have their police there. They got Kelowna doing sidewalks, have one lane closed, and nobody's directing traffic, and there's not a, pol- a New London police officer to be found. It's one of the busiest streets in New London. Mm-hmm. I have Dennis a... knows what I'm talking about because it's just around the corner from his house. Right. I have some not, information for not you, Not to John. mention you got the state have another crew ripping up the sidewalks now on Ocean Avenue to put in ADA curbs. I went up to the, uh, up to, uh, the high school. And Are I, they working on the roundabout? Huh? Are they working on the roundabout? No, no. They, that ain't going to Unlike ha- other towns, there's nothing being communicated that you're going to have the detour near the high school. John, where's the roundabout going to be? They're working on the Coast Guard. Do you know where Museum. the lights are at the high school? At the high school? Oh, where? oh, oh, oh. Jefferson, Jefferson and Coast. Okay, yeah. okay. They're going to put in a $4 million roundabout, which will also include the road going down Jefferson to Broad yeah. between the two cemeteries, which needs repair wickedly. But I was and talking to one of the guys. an extra $250,000 to have the people that did the study that told us that we need to do the roundabout oversee the roundabout. Talk about the fox watching the hen house. I w- John, wait, hang on a second. I went to the school and I was talking with some foreman up there and I asked him, is this is the old entrance to the school coming back when you guys are done, or is it going to stay over where it is? And he goes, as far as I know, it's coming back because it's easier for the traffic, for the buses to get in and out, than, the other, than that other off, street. Off that little street, yeah. Now, I, I like the idea of the roundabout because it gets rid of them lights and it will make the traffic flow Quicker. smoother. Yeah. Um, you know, it's... We shoot down a lot of stuff that happens in this city, but every once in a while, in my opinion, somebody gets it right. I don't know how they do. Maybe, you know. The roundout's not going to solve your traffic problem at, I, at the high school. It solved it down by, uh, um, down at the end of Howard Street there, going to Pequot. No, it hasn't. Oh, uh, I think it has. If, you, if you go there key time when EB is going in there, it's backed up just like it is on on. No. Jefferson and Chester Street now because you only have one entrance going into the high school. $161 million for a new school, and we only have one way in and out. Well, we will there's, have. There's a no brainer for you. We, we are going to have a way in and out, two ways in and out. Now, when, it's, when the place is done, and this is another thing that gets me is, you know, they've been working on the school for how long now? Four years. You know, and, and they're still working on it. Um, I don't know. To me, if I was running the city, I would I would have got a company to come in to do that job and have them work in it 24-7, especially at night when there's nobody in there and the traffic is the least amount, and get it done. Well, uh, Dennis, we would have had it done, but we weren't counting on COVID and all of the supply issues, and there's going to be excuses. I mean... Yeah, but now now it's even... Now is the time to have these people working. Look, look how long it took them to do Ocean Avenue all the way to the beach. Yet the state did from Niles Hill Road to Bank Street in one third the time. No. You got to remember, though, the Ocean Avenue is owned by the state, and only goes up to Niles Hill Road. Right, yeah, but it that. didn't take them no year and a half. Uh, no, of to course not. Because their because, it, because to the, Bank Street. Yeah, this is because New London is incompetent. Four million dollars for a roundabout, and we have more infrastructure problems. You've got brush over sidewalks. On Coleman Street between McDonald's and Taco Bell, you've got to walk out on the street because there's an undeveloped lot that the brush is coming so much over the sidewalk, you're forced to walk out in the street. Yet we're so worried every year about people shoveling their sidewalks when it snows. No, you're right on that. I, I, I brought that up at the last council meeting when I went to about that How come stuff. there isn't... Stop signs that are blocked by tree limbs or overgrowth brush. John, how come there Hill, isn't... Hillside a... Avenue sidewalk. If I was paying the taxes on that street, I'd want to know why Willits is getting a new sidewalk and I'm not. I want to know why there isn't a cop on the corner of uh, Bank Street and where the fire, where the, uh, fire station is on the yeah. other side. Because there are more cars in that left lane that go straight, just so they don't have to wait in that line to go 
to go straight. And they, they're supposed to turn left. If there was a cop on that corner, or put the barriers there that prevents those people from going which, straight. Which intersection are you talking about? Right up, right up by where um, where the fire where the um, yeah, the fire station is. What in the, in the store, the two stores. Okay, because they also do it up by Ocean Avenue by CBS and Montauk Avenue. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, that left those five lane, corners is another to go nightmare. Up, to go up, continue up going Bank Street. You know, maybe, I, I maybe wanna, they should put a roundabout there. <laughs> that's almost as bad as Willits is only that's a one-lane on street. Let you get somebody that'll go over the double yellow line to go left onto Ocean. Yeah. You know, I I was thinking the other day, I, I took a ride around, and I was looking at trying to find all the apartment buildings that are being built, and they're all over the place. All of a sudden, they're everywhere. Okay? Now, and they're all reasonable rent starting at $1,200. Affordable rent. Affordable rent starting at $1,200 a month. Where? Which, everywhere. Um, Not they, the one, I don't know what the ones are going to be you know, uh, from, short, uh, from uh, ShopRite. They're going to they're gonna be like that. They're supposed to be lower in now. The, Phase one. What I want to know, a couple things. I want to know how much each one of these places paid for the land. I want to know what kind of tax abatements they got and how that's going to work. Um, I want to, like John always says, and Mike always used to say about the services, so many more people means more. you need more services. Now, you take Howard Street. You got the one, the... One that's on Parcel J done, which has a really lousy entrance into that build, building complex. Because when you make that turn to go down Howard Street from Bank Street, within 50 feet, it's to turn into those apartments. That's dangerous. Now you got another one that's down way across from the medical building that's going to be opening soon. That traffic now, is going to be a nightmare. Got, now minor you got, Alexander. Now you got Minor Alexander. Now I hear... Uh, the old stashes, somebody wants to put apartments there. Um, and then you've got the museum. Now, I went down there the other day, and they had State Street and Bank Street. They had um, part of it blocked off because they were working on the roads. You fired? So what I'm getting at is when they start working full-fledged on that museum, Where's all that traffic going to go, especially when it's time to go well, home? Six oh, that's years ago, oh, Eugene okay. O'Neill was supposed to be converted into a two-way street. Phase two of making Bank Street one lane, but yeah. nothing yeah. materialized. Nope. Hey, John, it's, it was Tilly Street and Bank Street. Drew just gave me that. Um, on, on the, where, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you. I think... You want to know something? Do you know Nobody's what Waterford counting, Woods is? Then, Hang have on. you seen the paper where East Lime and Waterford are now taking up 45% of our sewage. No. no. So that, with all this growth going on in New London, we only have 55% of the cap capacity at our own plant because 45% is going to, to another water district. We need to increase our police, fire, and emergency services. Well, guess what, John? The only, ones, the only ones that are seeing what's happening in the community and increasing what's going on is L&M Yale because they're increasing their building. Yeah. John, did you get the card from the city saying yeah, yeah. the 23rd, the, uh, the um, revaluation is going to be happening in 2023, and if you don't send your, your yeah, I card that. back? Well, how, how do you like that when you're... Your assessment on your house, I guarantee you, is going to go up. Are the taxes going to be lowered like they should to affect that? Probably not. With all these apartment buildings, well, have, that, you, have you gotten your car registration renewal? No. You now pay for three years instead of two. Well, I, I okay. So every before we were only so everything basically is picking up that third year. So when you were paying eighty bucks, you're now going to pay. 150 or 155 the next time you go to renewal because the parking for the state park went up to $15 for $5 for every year and the and green fee went up to 750 everything increased by 50% John just like social my security wife, came out and announced we're going to get an 8.7% increase I used to have inflation's already above 8.7%. <laughs> Not just that. By the time that you know, money hits in February, we'll be in double digits on inflation. Yeah. You hear how Medicare 
costs are supposedly going down for drugs, for prescriptions. Yeah, but four years what, from now. Mine went up. We used to pay five to ten dollars for a copay. It's now twenty-five to thirty dollars for a copay. How's that going down? See, this is what I mean. The, but you know that the, 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 the women, John, Falls John, hang on. Know I did this for Medicare. <laughs> Do you realize those stuff doesn't go into effect to 2025? But not only that. Okay, wait a minute. We're going to talk about Biden. Trump was the first one that was trying to get the cost of uh, drugs down. Okay, now Biden's jumping on the bandwagon saying that he's going to do it. But Biden, Biden's little thing is the top most common drugs. We're going to get them to, to sell them cheaper. The most common kind of drugs, it's not going to be insulin. It's, it's not going to be uh, hot medicine. It's going to be probably pain pills. Well, here, um, here's food for thought. When, you, when your out-of-pocket goes to a, to a maximum of $2,000, don't you think Medicare is going to dictate what drugs you're going to be available to get, just like yeah. they, they dictate now what type of preventive services you can get? Yeah, I know. All right, John, we've got to let you go. We've got only a few minutes All left. All right. Call back next week, okay? And tell other people who are to start watching. Thanks. I've got to tell Gina. I wanted to talk about um, yesterday with the thing with Jerry Labriola. Mm -hmm. If you want somebody going to the state, like you do, to get her out of New London, where you'll end up with higher taxes in this state, you go to any Vote for her. I, Vote for her. However, w you, we cannot afford to have Martha Marks in, in, in the state of Connecticut for at state senate. You've got and these idiots. I'm going to these ignorant people, mostly in New London, because that's what changes everything. For Mika one all the surrounding towns. What yeah. made it close were the ignorant people living in New London. They got, and they, they're going to, they'll probably do the same thing. I know her personally. I know what she, she is like. You do not want her. And if people don't start waking up, which they haven't been for years, we're going to, this, we're going to end see, up the, the, the thing way of it, it is, is with her up in Hartford. Hartford is being run a certain way by Democrats. And if it's a Democratic governor, it's going to stay that way. And even if it's a Republican governor, he's going to have a tough time on his hands, as long as the majority of people in Hartford are Democrats. So she can go in there and say, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this. Doesn't mean anybody's going to listen to her. Just like Nolan. Nolan what has Nolan done? For the city of New London, not special groups in the city of New London. Yeah. New London as a whole, all the people that voted. What has he done? He's done nothing for me. I mean, he's done. He's done crap for the people that pay the taxes to run this city. Because in my opinion, look who's running the city. Less. Look who is running the city. I know. And Incompetence. I, and I just lost my chance to get on the senior affair committee after this show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eric. It, what difference does it make? It doesn't. It makes no difference. It's, it's, it, they're it, not going to... No, I went because this, no, cause this city is run by incompetence. I went to the council meeting and I talked with the, the young girl that uh, is in charge of administration and um, ministry, yeah. And I told her, I said, you know, I would be a good fit for the senior fair committee. I'm a senior, first of all. I said, and I've been in all kinds of things in the city. And, oh, yeah, I know you. I got your application, um, and I got your email, so I'm not going to hear nothing from them. And that same day, they nominated or put in place on boards and agencies seven Democrats. This city doesn't care about fairness. They don't care but about... You know, they, and it hasn't for years, and it's not going to change. What's, you know what's going to change? When I can finally leave this city. True. Which is probably going to be when I'm dead. Now, there's supposed to be 1,500 Republicans in this town, voting Republicans. The Republican committee oh, no. is, is a joke in this uh, town. All right, now, wait a minute. If those 1,500 Republicans stuck together as a group, and especially at voting time, it would, make, it would probably make some kind of a difference. 
folks, we'll see you next week. I'll Thank be you. in that chair and he'll be over here. Let us know. Come up to us. Let us know. Take good care. Good night.